Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shopping Crafty. Uh, so, the new year came around and I once again had to revisit the idea of sinking funds. Now, sinking funds, if you don't know, basically it's setting aside money every month for a bigger purchase that you'll need in the future or for things that you know might come up. Um, those unexpected things, those emergencies, so that eventually your emergency fund, you know, it's like you don't even need to use it because you already are planning for these emergencies that you know are going to come up, like medical bills, honestly, um, vet visits for your cat or dog, uh, what else, like car repairs, things like that. Um, so I keep trying to do sinking funds, I keep trying, but I keep failing. The last time I tried, I was talking about it. It was right when I was starting this channel. I was really buckling down on getting out of debt. And then my computer broke down, which I knew was coming, but of course I wasn't sinking funding for it. So I took pretty much all the money out of my sinking fund that I was going to put in my sinking fund that month and put it towards a computer, which I do think was the right call because I use that for work things. I use it for the YouTube. I use it for proofreading, developmental editing, all that stuff, um, some transcription work. It's really central to part of my income and my career. So I think it was a good call, but I haven't really tried again on the sinking funds since then. And now is the time, the new year. So I calculated my ideal sinking funds and it's astronomical. It is $1,040 a month and that isn't even including a little curveball I was just thrown. So I'll go through what I have first to show you guys. Clothes, $20. I am an actress and I am quickly realizing I really do need a better wardrobe. Nicer clothes. I don't need that many because on an audition, you know, they're only going to see you maybe a couple times. And even if you get a call back, you're supposed to wear the same thing. But I need more staple items that I feel really comfortable in, that I can take headshots in, and that are my more grown-up self, honestly, because I'm no longer that 18 to play younger, I think. I mean, I'm, I could still get cast as that, but I'm looking to the future and what my next type will be. And it's not that, because I'm just going to keep getting older. So $20 for clothes, $20 for a pet emergency fund. My cat is two years old, so he's young, and hopefully won't have any big health issues anytime soon. He did when he was first brought to me. He had like a chronic cold just constantly for like the first year of his life. Poor little guy. And we took him to the vet multiple times, had this little like laser treatment on his nose. He's pretty much better now, but I do want to prepare for the future because whether or not I put money aside, he's going to get older and eventually going to need medical attention, probably. So I want to make sure I have the money set aside when that day comes because I don't want to get blindsided. And um, Julia Marie's channel is Julie Marie. Sorry, I don't know if it's Julia or Julie, but um, she has a great channel and she actually just had a big emergency with her cat and I feel so... My heart goes out to her for that, and that's such a frustrating thing when you're on a debt-free journey, uh, because you have to choose between the debt-free journey and your your love, your cat. It's a terrible situation, and she's powering through it. She is rocking it, but it made me really think about how I need to start setting that money aside. After that is a computer slash phone fund. I'm going to put $100 a month in this, so when the time comes that I need to buy a new phone, I can buy it outright, no leasing, no interest charges, and 
also for a new computer when the time comes that I need a new one. I just got this one, so hopefully it'll last me at least two years, ideally three or four years, but computers age pretty quickly and crash pretty quickly. And I didn't get a Mac and I thought, I thought that was a good idea. And very quickly I realized there's a lot of this technology on my new computer that is just not as good. <sighs> Apple is worth the hype apparently and worth the money uh, for what I'm trying to do. But I'm going to use this one until it breaks down on me. And same thing with phones. I'm going, I used to always want to upgrade it whenever that time came around with my service provider and now it's like, nope, unless I need to, I'm not going to. The only need I have for that right now is if I want to film higher quality YouTube videos. And also because I want to film, um, the reverse way, like when I film now, it's like I can see myself, like I'm looking at the camera, but whenever I film so that it's facing out and I can look at what's happening in front of me, the microphone doesn't work very well. Uh, I posted my turkey chili video and that had terrible audio and I thought like maybe I was holding over the microphone and my voice was getting muffled, but then I filmed again at trying really carefully not to and it still just wasn't working and I googled it and apparently that's just one of the quirks of this generation that I have. So I I do want a new phone at some point but again I'm not, I'm, I mean I'm going to sink in fun for it and I'll afford it when I can afford it. That's how this budgeting thing works unfortunately. <sighs> <sighs> but it'll be great when I can afford it. I won't be I won't be hating that then. All right, the other category, I, the next category is three hundred dollars a month towards weddings. And uh, no, that's a lot. Weddings slash family things. So I'll probably also take my mom's sixtieth birthday present out of that fund. So yes. Next month my mom is turning 60, that's a big deal, I want to get her a good present. She has more than <laughs> earned it, and I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I'm sure like me and my sisters will pitch in and get something good for her, I hope. I don't know the plan yet. So there's that, and there is my sister's wedding in April that I'm going to. Plane tickets are much more expensive to Florida in April than they were in November. So I'm looking to pay about 400 probably for the plane tickets, uh, not including checking luggage, but I probably won't check luggage now that I think about it. So scratch that. But yes, that will be expensive and it's going to be about $400 for the stay at a condo with my family sp split between all of us. It's going to be $400 for me, which is a lot. <laughs> so much. Oh well. So I have that. And then also my sister's wedding in Charleston in October, which flights to Charleston are really expensive because who's going to Charleston uh, apparently is the, the logic there. So that's another at least $400 ticket. And then however much we end up having to pay for hotels, it was looking like it was going to be a lot, but now we're looking into actually renting a house which is great. I guess there's a lot of like vacation homes and stuff there that people just will um, loan out. I don't know, let people stay in while they are home for most of the year so that they can make a little extra income from their vacation home, which is great. And it also means it's affordable because it's not like they're trying to make money necessarily. And like any money they make is extra money to them at that point because they already have a vacation home. So I guess they're doing okay financially, probably, maybe. I mean, you never know. But I think that's the general idea because we've been looking it up and that might just end up being about $200 for me <clears throat> for the whole trip, which would be a lot better. Or it might be more. We'll find out what it is as we get closer to the date. But that is a whole lot of money I need for my sister's weddings. Uh, very generously, my sister, who just got engaged, actually offered to pay for the bridesmaids' dresses. So that is very nice, and that takes a little bit. That takes like $100 off of the financial burden. I'll probably need to buy some shoes, but other than that, it's just travel, place to stay, food, 
shoes and that's all I need. Those are expensive things though, <laughs> but again, it's my family's wedding. Like, that's, that's what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be really exciting when I don't have to put $300 a month in that and I can put it towards debt and that day will come. I don't know, I might actually reach this goal early um, or things will be cheaper than I expect and I won't even have to go the whole year doing this sinking fund. We'll see. Next one is a tricky one that I'm kind of curious to see what other people might say about it. Um, I'm going to try to sinking fund for health insurance because in June I am off of my mommy's insurance. I am becoming a grown up. I also paid for the phone bill for the first time this month because she had been paying it for me. And my mom isn't a wealthy woman, you know, she she's just a normal human, but she helps me because she's my mama and she wants to um but that yeah I I started paying that and I want to sinking fund my insurance hey guys sorry about that once again my phone cut out another reason I would like to buy a new phone better storage at some point but yes I want to sinking fund my insurance we'll see if that's going to add up to be enough to buy it outright um, so that I don't have a monthly payment. I mean, I keep sinking funding for the next year, but then I don't have convenience fees and all of that, those random fees to put on a payment plan. Uh, $250 to acting. I was thinking about doing $200 and tried to calculate out like, okay, in t one month I can buy a workshop, in two months I can buy headshots, in another month I could buy another workshop. In another two months, I could buy an improv class. And it was like, that's not enough money. It's just not. And I keep saying I'm going to just wait till the end of the month and put half my extra money towards debt, half my extra money towards acting. I haven't been doing that. I keep putting it towards debt. And that's good. But my career, need, I need to put money in my career. I, I need to make that a priority. I need to set that money aside in a sinking fund. And I'm going to. $250 for that. So that adds up to $1,040. And this is new. And maybe it won't happen. It's just a new thing I have to start thinking about. I might be moving in with my boyfriend. <laughs> That's scary and exciting at the same time. It, we have a lot to work out with that and financially it would leave me in about the same financial position except for hiring movers because I don't want to not hire movers <laughs> I I've always had that be a condition like I don't want to move again until I can afford movers um, I would probably try to get most of the stuff taken care of myself so that I don't need them for very long and so I don't have to pay them as much um, so like boxes and stuff that I can do I'd do myself but that's definitely something I would need to start sinking funding for as well. So maybe it would be like rounded up to $1,100 and leave it at that. And then in a few months, if I, if, if we decide that that is what we are going to do, um, that's the plan. Can you tell I'm a little, a little nervous, <laughs> a little, I'm excited, but I'm freaked out at the same time this isn't your, I don't know, he'd probably be annoyed that I'm talking about this <laughs> on a public forum, but it's on my mind and it's part of my budgeting process. So there you go. All right. I will talk to you guys again soon. Let me know about your sinking funds and how you manage to keep track of them, how you manage to keep setting aside the money. Um, I guess it'll be easier now that I have an emergency fund, but I don't know. It's just stressful stressful stuff. <sighs> so it's going to be a tough, tough year with that much going into sinking funds. But that means the year after, I'll be like a pro at making that much money and I will be able to just knock shit out. Sorry. I just swore. I'm really sorry. Um, I, I try not to do that. Oh well, it happened. <laughs> 
Sorry, hope your kids weren't watching. They they won't know. They don't they don't need to know that that's a thing. I don't know. Anyway, have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you've made it to the end of this really long video, uh, and like it and do all that stuff that I'm supposed to tell you to do every video. But I don't want to waste your time telling you every video.